Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to make a button on your Ghost CMS website using the best CSS button generator. It's an online and free tool and it will be easy to use. Just follow the steps in this tutorial. Let's go. So the first step will be to go to the best CSS button generator. I have the tab open here. On the left sidebar you can see several button templates to choose from and you can see the live preview of the button here. I want this first template, the round corners button. So let's start customizing it. Here you can change the background color of the button. So you can see uh, the live preview of the color. I want a blue button. So I want something blue like this for my website. It's fine. I'm not gonna change more more stuff here. I can change the background of the button. I don't want a background for my button. So I'm not gonna use this and anything else because I don't want a gradient. And as we are going to see now on the right sidebar, I can change the text and the class, the class name of the button. The class name is a, an identification. So, when you copy the code to your website, this is the way the code will know which button to attribute the colors and the rest of the um, customization you want. Okay. Here you can change the font size of your button. I usually like 18 pixels. Here I have some font uh, types to choose from. They are a little bit limited. so. I'm going to leave it in default and Arial and I'm, I can change it later in directly in the code. It will be better. So the size of the button here, I'm going to leave it at 16 and your horizontal size 31. I'm going to leave it at 31. Also the border, you can see how it affects the button. I'm going to leave it at 28 and the border box. I'm going to, I usually don't like to use a border box on my button, so I'm going to push it to zero. Here it's more advanced stuff like shadows and I don't like this, so I like clean buttons, simple and it is better code in my opinion. Now let's head to the ghost editor. Inside the ghost editor you press the plus button and you select the HTML card. And now I'm going to paste a little code before copying the button okay this div will be the wrapper around my my button this will make it easier to customize the different different widths for the button so i like to do it this way now i'm going to the button generator i'm going to click on get code i'm going to select only the first line and i'm going to copy this and put it inside my div okay this, this is the first steps we are doing. And this should be easy. Now we are going to take care of the style. On the top right corner, press settings, scroll down and press code injection. Here in the header, I'm going to leave in the description some of these templates and codes. And also on my website, I have the companion blog post for this tutorial. You need to paste the style and my button div. It's a class we added to the div previously. Okay. You don't need to understand this or change it. It will just make your life easier to customize things going forward. Okay. Now let's get back to the button generator and we are going to select the reminder code. Okay. Now inside the style, I'm going to press enter and I'm going to paste everything from the button CSS. Okay. Now, Let's wait for it to save and let's preview. You see the button is weird. Why? Let me tell you a secret. This is not a button. This is a link. We are just adding style to this link and it will look like a button and behave like a button. So let's call it a button from now forward and treat it like this. Okay. The text inside of the button 
it's blue and it's underlined okay as you can see here it's not it's not the same style so what happens let's go back let's go back to code injection inside the code injection I'm gonna scroll and I'm gonna on the color six F's means white but I'm going to make it important so ghost CMS treats this color as important and overwrites the blue of the general links of my website now let's get back and see let's wait and preview see now it's white okay let's get back again go to the code injection and now I'm going to remove the underline on text decoration it has none and I'm going to add important and it's done let's preview again see one thing I don't like CSS button generator to do is had an over it has a color for the hover as you can see here I don't like this I don't use it so I usually go to my buttons and I remove this part but you're free to have them here it's button hover background color okay I remove this and usually I also remove that I don't need it as you might have noticed my button is not 100% full width so if you want to make it 100% go to the code injection scroll down to my button and add width 100% let's wait here it's 100% but the text is to the left so let's add one more line text align center okay it's centered now you can also change the font and the size of the the font here it's the font family and in this case it's Arial and I'm going to change to Georgia and I'm going to change to 16 pixels okay let's see the differences see it's a different font size and a different font family but for my websites I like to use the same font for the buttons and for the rest of the website so I'm going to remove it and you can do it the same so let's find font family and remove the line and I'm going back to 18 pixels and preview see the next step is to change the link of the button okay let's go to the HTML card and double click in this line you need to remove this hash and enter a new link I'm going to put the link of the ghost website homepage just to exemplify okay then this green is the text that appears inside the button okay so I'm going to change it to ghost website okay see ghost website now if I click it goes to the ghost website if you're enjoying the video press the like button as a way to say thank you one thing to have in mind is that affiliate links and buttons need to have a sponsored tag because Google will penalize websites that don't have this tag okay how do you fix this let's go to the HTML card and you can also click on edit and inside this tag we are going to add rel equals quotation marks sponsored close quotation marks okay it's done this signals to Google that you have a monetary motivation to use this link okay also rel sponsored tags change the link from do, do follow to no follow so always remember sponsored 
equals no follow link. One annoying thing about Ghost is that they open external links in the same tab. I don't like this, many people don't, and this is usually a bad experience because people will leave your website without a way to coming back, okay? So let's see this example. I have here the link that goes to the Ghost website. If I click, see, it doesn't open a new tab. And if the people close this, they are gone, okay? Let's go back and to fix this, we go to the code and we will add inside the same line, inside the same tag, we are going to add target underscore blank. What is this? Is when you click on the button, it opens a new tab. Okay, let's see it. I'm going to left click, see, new tab. I have the my page here and now I have two ghost pages. Now I have a cool trick for you. You can save your most used buttons as a snippet. What this does is that it saves what you have in the code and makes it easy to use next time when you press the plus to find the card, okay? To save as a snippet, you need to press the HTML card once and then press the create snippet. Then you give a name and let's give a name ghost button. I'm going to save it. I'm going to create a new card ghost button. Okay. Let's see how this looks. Done. It's easy. You can use the snippets on every blog post or page of the of your website. So make use of it. Remember that this snippet we saved only has the link and the name. It doesn't have the style, okay? To, you need to go to code injection and paste this style to every page you want to use your button. But if you have a button that you use for almost every page, you have one way to save this code and load it in every page so you don't forget it, okay? You need to copy all of the lines used, okay? And then on the website settings, code injection, on the site header, you just paste your style, okay? You have it right here. Now, on every page, this style will look for buttons with this class to add the style. You don't need to inject the code on every page. If you load this code on every page, it will slow down your website a bit. Just avoid it for the not so usual buttons, okay? Down on the description will be a link for the website where you can find templates of buttons to jumpstart your progress with buttons on Ghost, okay? It was a pleasure and thank you for watching this video.